I'm going to show you how to make a program that adds two numbers together as an introduction to variables. Let's take a look first at the program that we will be creating. You can see at the top of the program here, when I click the green flag, the owl in this case will ask a question. It will say, I will add two numbers together. What's your first number? The owl will wait until the user enters their answer. I have three variables in this program. The first variable is called num1. When the user responds to this question, it will store that answer into the variable called num1. The owl will then ask, what's your second number? And it will wait until the user responds. The user's answer will be stored in a variable called num2. My third variable is called sum. The sum variable will add the two numbers together using an operator block. So it says num1 plus num2. That, will, that value will be stored in the variable called sum. The final block or line of code is an output and it will say the sum of the two numbers. And it will remain on the screen for three seconds. So let's run this program and see what it looks like. The owl says, I will add two numbers together. What's your first number? Let's type in five. Click on the check mark. What's your second number? Let's type in three and then the check mark. So the owl responds eight. Let's run this program again and enter in different values now. How about we enter in two and then three. So our answer is five. So let's go ahead and make this program ourselves now. When you start a new scratch program, let's change the character from scratch to cat to a different sprite. On the bottom right, I will select choose a sprite. I'm going to look for the owl. So if I scroll down, you can see it's in alphabetical order. And here's my owl. Now I can delete the cat sprite. To do that, I will just click on the cat sprite and then select the X. Now I'm ready to add some code. To begin our program, we will make it so that when it clicks the green flag, or when we click the green flag, the program will begin. The next thing I want to do is make my three variables or declare three variables. So I'm going to select variables on the left hand side here, make a variable. Then I'm going to call my first variable num1, click on OK. My second variable, so I'm going to click on make a variable again. I will call this num2, click on OK. My third variable, so I'll make a variable, call it num3, or actually sum rather, so sum for sum, and then click on OK. So I have three variables declared, num1, num2, and sum. Then what I want to do is ask the user to enter their first number in. Under sensing, select the ask block, the ask and wait block, drag it over. You will also need this answer block. So I like to drag it over now. Instead of what's your name, I'm going to say, what's your first number? You might also write that you will be ask, adding two numbers together and then say, what's your first number? And then I'm going to select variables, the set my variable block and drag it beneath the ask block. In the pull down menu, I will change it to num1 and I will set that equal to the user's answer to the last question. I need to do that same thing again. So I go to sensing, grab the ask and wait block, move the answer block over, change it from what's your name to what's your second number. Go to my variables, select the set block, place it beneath the ask block. In the pull down menu, change it to num2, grab the user's answer, snap it into place. I then need to add the two numbers together and store it in my variable called sum. So again, I click on variables, 
Grab the sets block, place it beneath the previous block. In the pull down menu, select sum. I need an operator block now. So under operators, we will be using the addition block. So that's the first one. You can snap that in replace of the zero. Go to your variables, select your num1 variable, and snap it into place in the first little circle, the num2 variable, and snap it into place. Notice that it's highlighted there. If I drag it and it highlights into the wrong spot, I just have to move things around. Sometimes it might end up in the main spot and it will pop the operator out. So you can just kind of take everything apart, put it back together. When you're moving the addition block, just go on the green part with your cursor and then snap it into place. So my sum variable is now equal to num1 plus num2. Finally, we want the owl to output that information to tell us the answer. So under looks, we're going to take the say block. I'm going to use the first one. Instead of hello, we will replace that with the variable called sum. So whatever that value is, the owl will say. So under variables, take your sum block and place it inside of the say block. Rather than keep it up for two seconds, I'm going to keep that message up for three seconds. We have our variables up now displayed on the screen. That's good for you know troubleshooting um, to see if your program is working correctly. But then once we test it out, we can make it so the user doesn't see these three variables. Let's run our program and see if it works so far. Click the green flag. What's your first number? I will type in three. I will then click the check mark. It says, what's your second number? I'm going to type in two. Click the check mark. And the answer is five. So because our program works, I'm going to hide these variables now. So click on variables. You can see these are all checked on. I'm going to check them each off and that way we don't have extra things on our screen. Sometimes people want the owl to say a little bit more. So instead of just saying the answer, they might want the owl to say the sum of those two numbers is and then the answer. So what we need to do is go to the operators drawer and select the join block. Another word for this is concatenation in computer science. We're going to, instead of say apple for the first part, we'll say the sum of the numbers is, I'm going to put a colon and then a space. If you don't include that space, then the answer will be right up against the last character. So we can take our sum block now, replace the word banana. Now we can drag this join block into the say block. So if we run the program now, do five, three, then two, the sum of the number is five. So it just gives the program um, a little bit more information or the user a little bit more information.